We will all offer the prayer of meditation. Living Father, we believe we will receive help this dawn. May we be forgiven of our sins and our ancestors' sins, and our family, our descendants, receive the greatest help and blessings. May we plant blessings today. May we save our families. May our descendants do more well. And for our country, for the world, may we receive the blessings of being your children. We believe that we will receive this this dawn. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. We believe we will receive help this dawn. So this world, they say, oh, this will happen in the 21st century. But it's so frustrating how ignorant they are. What will happen in the 21st century? Those who are evil will become more evil, and those who do well will do more well. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13. So someone who is evil will become worse, and someone who is good does better. Should we just leave it like that? Well, the more bad people there are, the more that harms the good. So if you have dung in your house, the whole house smells. So people say, you know, in every household there's a problem. Why? So you realize and repent. But if you just let that alone, then your house is always experiencing a headache. So yesterday, a restaurant owner was saying, oh, because the father's like that, the child's exactly the same. And I thought, oh, you only know that now? If you plant a bean, you'll, you, you'll reap a bean. It's what you plant that you sow, uh, that you reap. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. So, if you suicide at 50, then your children suicide at 50. So it happens according to what you plan. You say, oh, we've married. And even though our ancestors were like this, they had cancer. You know, that we're okay. That means you've been repenting. Otherwise, it comes to you exactly. So what will happen in the 21st century? More and more, there will be competition. What does that mean? You either have a good head or a bad head. So, what do we need to receive help this dawn? So, for us, our children to do well, to go the way towards having a good head. That's God's promise. So, in this world, which country has received the most Nobel Prizes? Even though the land is small, Israel has received the most. Why? Rahab the prostitute, even though she sold alcohol in her body, when she loved God to the point of giving up her life, she became a child of God. But no one gives up their lives. We all seek our own profit. People who come to our church and pray the whole night long. And those beside them, even though they're sleeping, they, they desire that that prayer will become theirs. So then they're the ones that end up praying throughout the night. And it goes round in, in a circle. So everyone's, everyone, the way that they pray is all different. But there are people who like to hear that and there are people who don't like to hear it. But those people who don't like it, you see if any of those people are, are right. The whole world is for my sake. But if you hate that, then you're betraying God. Someone without thanksgiving. So that person ruins their family. You have a look. Someone who makes excuses. They've ruined their own household. They've done it. And yet they don't know. So the evil, because they're deceived by their ancestors' demons, they don't realize themselves. John chapter 8, verse 44. So because of that, 
they even kill their descendants. And the descendants are, resemble exactly the same. And then you expect sibling affection. There will never be affection. The siblings live as enemies. And then they blame, saying, oh, it's because of the woman that came into our family. They always blame the, the woman that comes in. But already you were divided. But then when the woman came, that's when that split grew bigger. But that's what people say, oh, it's because that woman came into our family. But already, your parents, already you were all divided. And that's why, you know, you go to the courts and it's families fighting over money and suing each other. But after doing that, when does that family do well? And then the descendants don't do well. So how is it that we should live? So blessings and curses are coming to me and to my children. So how should we live? We want to receive blessings and we have to receive blessings. That's where Hebrews chapter 6 verse 14, God says, surely receive blessings, but we surely go the way of curses. My pride. So your, if your ancestors have done something in the past, you act like you're so smart and better. But worldly wisdom, it ruins me, my family and the country. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 19 to 20. So which wisdom should we receive so that we don't become like that and we save ourselves, our family, the world? What? How can we receive this blessed wisdom? In the future, the competition will be about wisdom. So this wisdom is given to those who repent. Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10. Let's find that. How thankful is this? After you repent, you become clean. And if your heart's at peace, the filthy things that come down from your ancestors, where well, you don't even know when you're going to suicide. And, and then because of your pride, your neck is stiff. You think that the evil people do well? If evil people do well, Proverbs chapter 21 verse 4, soon they'll be ruined. You look at our country's presidents, those people who didn't repent. You see if they do well. All you see is that they end up in prison. If you see someone doing well, is that someone who truly repents or not? But if not, soon you see them ruined. It's exactly according to the Bible. You don't live because you're a pastor. And you don't live because you've been to church for many years. And you don't live because you've studied the Bible. You live when you repent. Even if you don't know anything, it's when you repent that you live. So if you want your head to become smarter, you have to plant good things in order to receive good things. That's Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. So no matter how smart you make yourself, you ruin yourself and others. Only the smarts that God gives, you receive blessings and you do well and you make others do well. So, it's what you know with your head that leads you. Before, when you lived according to the world, the demons, they keep dragging you to be ruined. At first, it seems like you're doing well. You know, the prodigal son, when he departs, it seems like he's doing well. But instead of going that way where you're going to die, we're going the way where our children will do more well. So what is it that you want to do? God says he'll help us at dawn. What will he help us with to make our head smart? What is it to be smart? It's not to go the way of, to be ruined, but it's where I save myself and others. It's where God helps us. People say, oh, Christians are so stubborn. Yes, if you're fake, then you're stubborn. But if you truly believe in Jesus, even Jesus, John chapter 8, after he preached, if people don't listen, he just he just avoids. He doesn't force someone like some water demon. That's someone who's evil. Who are you evangelizing to? So someone who's about to die. If that person, 
even if they're not sick for one day and they go to heaven. How, well, how blessed would that be? But they betray. And their children do too. So they don't even, they don't even give thanks to God. And yet they say they believe in Jesus. But they're evil. There are a lot of people like that at our church. Even if you live one day peacefully, how thankful is that? And if you go to heaven, how much more thankful you should be? But there's nothing. They don't know how to give thanks to God. And even if they live well for many years, they don't know how to give thanks. And then they say they believe in Jesus. But you look at their actions. If something doesn't suit them, they, they act so offended. So that's so even though they're taught that that will go to hell and their children will be ruined, they still don't know how to repent. At this dawn, let's receive help. I'm receiving help. Why am I not doing well? I'm doing well. My children are doing well. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 1. What does it say? If the evil man is doing well, don't even go near them. Samping building, they seem to be doing well, but it collapsed. So let's read Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. You know, it's so sad. If you ask them, oh, is your family well? And they say yes. How can you say yes when your children don't even know how to greet you? Isaiah chapter 1. No matter how many children you have, they're enemies. Why? Because starting from me, I'm an enemy of God. If I don't repent, those children are all enemies. And so people only want to have one child. So it's... These beasts that perish, that don't know. From now, let's live correctly. So yesterday I said to that restaurant owner, I said, who am I that you know how many days I haven't been here? All we do, me and this deacon, we just come and eat noodles. But she says, oh, you've come after a while. She's, she's probably around 60 and so after we had our meal, you know, who am I that you'd wait for me? Am I your husband or your your sibling? But why is it that you wait so much for me? You want to receive blessings. You know, you want to do well. Then I'll tell you the way to do well. You need to live like that. And she listened. Those customers that come, if someone's around your age, you see them as your husband or your brother or your children or your close friend. That's the way you earn money. And she said, she said, oh, who can do that? Only someone like you, a pastor, could do it. Yes, that's right. Without doing four-step repentance, you can't do it. So I said, so I said, that's true. Because you don't know how to repent, you can't do this. You know, you do, you work fervently in order to earn money, but you never treat others as your family. But why is it that you wait for me? Because when I go to that restaurant, I don't go, I've never been there as a customer. I go there as an owner, and I have the heart that that restaurant is mine. So every time I seek what it is that you have to fix to do well, and then I tell you. So because you have human affection inside of you, you look at me and you say, oh, that person never disadvantages me. That's why you wait for me. I'm not your husband. I'm not your brother. Why would you wait for me? And she didn't say anything. And she said that was right. So because I give her help, she waits for me. But she still doesn't know the true genuine love of God, yet she's received it. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 Verse 24, someone who believes in Jesus is someone who gives profit. But how much, who have you given profit to? If anything, people, you know, curse you, then no one ever gives thanks to you. So then you say that you believe in Jesus? You know, we're so wrong, yet we don't know that. So if that person's going to heaven, the whole Bible is a lie. In the world, 
more and more we're moving towards who is smart. It's all about the, the war in your about how smart you are. So um, there was a pastor in America who who faxed me and sent me a book saying because Israel knows this mystery now they've written this book and so he sent me this letter in this book why is it that Israel receives the most Nobel Prizes because their heads are the most smartest you know the world loves diamonds wherever I go to you know Korean communities I say you want to become rich then you should um, sell diamonds so the world's diamonds half is made by Israel in that tiny land because their heads they're smart God makes them smart so Proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 this is how to make you smart if you're smart your children they're even smarter so stop ruining your family your country it's not just about getting smart it's because you're going to heaven that's why you keep getting smarter and smarter because God as much as your heart is clean your head becomes smarter so whatever you think it's different you look at people who are smart and people who aren't their thinking is different so if you have to nail something instead of just one clean um, ha one clean hit if you have to do it many times then you waste you waste and so to go to heaven for your children to do well to give profit to others that's why we're here at this dawn to receive this help so let's receive this and do well so all this time whatever my destiny was like even if you're some CEO that's not living that's going the way of ruin and if you, even if you believe to Jesus, in Jesus, if you just trample the courts back and forth, that's going the way of ruin. Let's read Proverbs chapter 9, verse 10. This is the way to live. Give instruction to a wise man, and he will be still wiser. Teach a righteous man, and he will increase his learning. Amen. Oh, sorry, verse 10. The fear of Jehovah is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So we learn in order to receive knowledge. But what you learn in the world ruins yourself and others. Only God's wisdom makes us live. So that's why Israel receives the most Nobel Prizes in this world. So our country is bigger than Israel. But why is it that our country doesn't do well? Because we follow after these strange religions that make our heads not smart. You know, if you look in our history, because the parents did wrong, the children become prostitutes, you know, we were occupied by the Japanese, and then, and then to say, oh, you've got to compensate us? The king made all these factions and all, even now all we do is fight it's because we don't have this fear so because you're not smart that's why this happens Galatians chapter 5 verse 15 why is it that we always fight in our families because your head's like a dog pig if you're really smart there's no reason to fight is there any disadvantage with God no so there's nothing but thanksgiving for me but how much of a demon do you have you you grumble and complain about how you know you don't like to hear the sound of other people praying so it's that person that eats up their family and soon they're finished and yet they don't know oh why are you busy oh because I want to raise my children well well that means they'll end before 30 no matter how much you try you know they die from cancer or some accident and that's why people say you know it's important to get past 29 or 39 they say those things and yet they still don't know what you think that you're healthy don't be mistaken if God takes you he, you're gone so God's in control of life and death who does he watch over those who fear him if you fear him 
He doesn't just watch over you. He gives you everything. What is fearing? It's to do four-step repentance. If you do four-step repentance, you, your descendants, you become smartest in the world. So you do well. You make your country do well. So if you hate to hear this, let's read it again. So the way to become smarter, there's only this way. So if you're smart, you know how to go to heaven. Someone who, make, who God makes smart knows how to go to heaven. So what are our lives? Romans chapter 11, verse 36. God sent us, we do his work, and then we return to him to be judged. So what is it that we have to do? If you go out wearing clothes, you sweat and you smell. So if you just keep wearing that, you'll rot. But if you keep changing your clothes, then... You know, the more you repent, the more new you become. But why is it that you hate to repent? Because you're a demon. So if you come here and pray, whatever sound you hear, it's thanksgiving. Whatever sound that piano makes, whether it be the high notes or the low notes, oh, oh, that low note, I don't, want, I don't like it, get rid of it. Oh, I don't like that high note, get rid of it. So you need all of that to be a piano. But demons, they talk about whether something is nice to listen to or not. Why do you hate it? It's because you hate to hear it because of your flesh, which is an enemy of God, so you can't sleep. But that flesh is what kills you and three and four generations. That is a filthy demon. But there are people who are close to those people. They're the same. If you are right, you'll pierce that person. Even now. If someone likes their flesh. It's always because of that person that the family's ruined. And yet they don't know it. You look at that person, they always grumble against someone. Either their wife or their or their husband or their children or their ancestors and they keep speaking dog pig talk God says in all things you have to give thanks why is it that we have to live like this why do we have to go the way of ruin you say you don't want to go the way of ruin and yet you're going that way but if I leave you alone then I'm fake I'm someone who is to be ruined so you can't go that way so what is it that we have to do we have to become smart we have to go to heaven we have to make our children do well we have to give profit to others that's the way of wisdom so if you just do four-step repentance, which is to fear God, then your head becomes smart and you become wise. So if you're wise, then your children also become smart. If they're smart in a bad way, that's a problem. But if they're smart in a good way, then it's they give glory to God, they give profit to others. People who go to fake churches, they talk about glory and yet they torment others. They make denominations. Why do they divide? They're like, oh, I don't like to hear that. And they make another denomination. It's those who grumble and complain, these demons. They always make these excuses. You know, you look in our country, all the factions, how they divide. They even died within themselves. If they do become one, it's temporarily. But they're all enemies with each other. So if you hate others, that's the sin of murder. After committing murder, you expect your children to do well. Already your children become foolish, they're enemies of God and they're problems in society and yet they don't know. So only fearing God is the beginning of wisdom which is to make you smart. So what happens? What will happen in the 21st century? It's a competition of minds. Who? Whose mind is better? Which country's minds are better? So in the end we'll be slaves to that. So if Israel starts to repent, no one can follow after them. Even now, no one can. So all over the world, people are crazy to earn money. But if Israel is able to produce half the diamonds in the world, you know, when I went there, they had this fence that was that was all rotten and, and falling down. If it was us, we would have already made new 
a new fence. But even though robbers could just enter, they just they just leave that that rotting fence, and they just have security standing. If you go to a diamond factory in Israel, you'll see. But our country, which is fake, all we worry about is the outside. But you look at those countries that have been ruined, it's always the packaging that's good. And they only want to boast themselves, but Israel's not like that. Those that keep up appearances. So if you do four-step repentance, you know, you, we don't say things like, oh, it doesn't, we don't care if we don't have good clothes. You know, there's no one who eats the packaging of, of the noodle pack. We eat the inside. So the Christian life is my inside becoming right. So we're not interested in that. So if you do four-step repentance, you're not interested in that and you're not interested in others' packaging. All you know is that these are the clothes that will be suited to that place. Why is it that you have these complaints because of those things but if you fear God then you become smarter and your children do well and you go to heaven and you give profit to others so at this dawn he'll help us with this so let's say your children are drinking the water downstream but if the parents are, are putting are sending down bad water so at this dawn, let's be someone who sends good water down to our children. So who does this? It's God. You know, other religions say you have to wash. What is it? We, what about us? We say, oh, here's here's the dirty laundry. We just have to give it up. We have to say, oh, I have this bad personality or this all this danger or my country's not doing uh, sorry our business isn't doing well if we get up to him he'll heal it oh I'm sick but our spouse is our enemy so if the husband or wife is sick the other side is killing them so if the right arm is the husband and the left arm is the wife they're the same they're both, if one's sick, they're, they're both sick. So, so the, if one side is sick, the other side should be confessing sins and repenting on their behalf. But you see, instead they grumble and complain. They come to church and say, oh, it's so noisy here. So, they make themselves ruined. But because you don't have love, you don't say correct words to them. And later, you come and say to me, oh, yeah, that person was grumbling. Well, what did you do? Well, I didn't say anything. Well, you're the same. It's like with like. If you truly love them, you'll say it's because of you, you've made, the right arm has made the left arm sick. So if you grumble, You'll be even more ruined. You have to repent and give thanks to God. That's when the your wife, your left arm will live. Why can't you say this? Because you don't have wisdom. Because I'm going the way of ruin. I don't know myself. So let's let's live properly. So if the left arm prays for the right and the right arm prays for the left, if you're one, then all of your body becomes healthy. And so your children, the legs become become strong. If you don't do this, then your children are your enemies. And then you say, oh, one of them believes well, but the other doesn't. If they're enemies with each other, how can you say that one believes well? And yet you lie. From now, let's have a new start. There is no lie to God's word. So that person seems to be doing well, but they ruin their country. So if you look at our past presidents, they ruined the country what is it that you're living for for yourself then you'll be ruined you know there's nothing that's mine we all are gods so if you're living for God then you live for the whole world so that's how you become someone who's world renowned so if it's God that makes your heart smart then you become someone who helps the world that's where that's the help we have to receive this dawn you know, you say your husband or your child isn't doing well. 
That's it's because you're making it like that. So why? So it's the woman who helps the man. Oh, my husband oh, is a thief. Well, who made it like that? The woman. So if the woman repents, then the husband changes to good. So if you plant good, then good comes back to you. Your children become obedient more and more. Your family becomes good. So you keep doing well because you've planted good. So those people who come to our church, who step by step are doing good, more and more their children do well. And more and more my heart's at peace. And so you keep seeing them doing well. Let's all go that way and do well. So this help at dawn, there is no lie. Why is it that we don't do well? It's because I'm going the wrong way. There are two types of wisdom. One that makes you live and one that makes you ruined. If you do four step repentance, the wisdom you receive from God, you live, you give profit to others. We believe we will become world renowned. Let's all pray. Lord, by this dawn's help, may we become blessed in this whole world. Father, what is first for me? Always it's me. And God is second or third. If you don't like something or like something, what's that saying? It's because I'm first. If God's first, then whatever God wants, we follow. May we, sh may we put God first, which can only happen by repentance. May we be able to look after our neighbours as our brothers or ourselves. May we not be ruined by doing things with human affection, but with the love of Christ. May we all receive blessings. By this dawn's help, we believe our evil spirits in our families will be cast out. Wherever there is sin, these evil spirits stick, so we believe these evil spirits will depart from us and our children. May we be most blessed in this world. We believe our descendants will do more well. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Those people who have families, who have problems in our families, don't worry about your children. Just repent, then the demons tormenting your children will depart. Those, those evil things, if your children love money and, and the world's fame, let's cleanse it all.